Rob, do you know anything about this game? No, I do not. Fantastic. I know you've been telling oh, me about what it. What should we name while. our our character that we're playing as? You What's already know name? the answer to this. What? Oh, yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> oh, there's no spaces allowed. Sharknado, Sharknado John. John. All right, fine. <laughs> it was supposed to be Jones. It was supposed to be a space. It's all going to hell. Whatever. <laughs> Hey, listen! <laughs> it's already the greatest game! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, <laughs> waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. <laughs> you know you're All off right. to a good start when you look at someone way off in the distance and say, Hey, she's probably pretty <laughs> annoying. That girl is Sayuri, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. Ah, childhood friends. This could go great. <laughs> You know, the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today. But it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Oh, f at the beginning of the sentence, I was thinking, like, you mean out of clay or something? But, <laughs> no, that, it does make more sense when you think about it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we used to walk to school together on days like this. But standing, uh, what? Starting, what? Starting around <laughs> high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently. And I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. What an annoying friend. <laughs> she sounds great. <laughs> However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Or the odds she just falls comically into that manhole. Oh, God. Ah! Ah! <laughs> God, she's so annoying. <laughs> I overslept again. She did. She did it. But I caught you this time. This time? Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait. Oh, no, wait, that's no. it. That's that's us. That's Sharknado John. Okay. Maybe, but only because I decided to stop and wait for you. <laughs> you say that. Like, <laughs> look at this. Look at this. <laughs> you say that like you were thinking of ignoring me. That's mean, Sharknado John. <laughs> Our name's so stupid. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Oh, boy. Ah! She jumped. <laughs> fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. This looks like an opera house over here. <laughs> it does. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayuri. <laughs> what the fuck? We cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making the daily commute. It's a weird way to describe it. Mm -hmm. By the way, Sharknado John, have you decided on a club to join yet? Oh boy. A club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. What? <laughs> you, you fucking liar! <laughs> <laughs> you told me you want to join a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. God, we suck! Maybe, may, mayhaps it'll be some sort of literature <laughs> club. Sayuri likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just going by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Yeah, alright. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. <laughs> Your happiness is really important to me, you know? I'm afraid you'll just be you forever! <laughs> <laughs> and I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming an unneat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You better know what that is. Do you know what that is? I, I do. But I, I don't know what it's... Like, it stands for something. It's like way. no uh, employment, education, or training. Okay. Yeah, it's basically like you just live in your, like, like basement bedroom forever and, like, don't socialize and aren't good for anything. It's us. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, basically. All right. <laughs> you trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try? <laughs> A little? She, the look on her face knows that you won't, no yeah. matter what you say here. 
Yeah, I guess. I'll promise you that. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? <laughs> I'm so happy I'm hovering a little. <laughs> More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Such an exaggerator. <laughs> Look at that wipe! Now, we're, who knows where we are now? <laughs> <laughs> the school day is as ordinary as ever, and is over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Looking for an ounce of motivation. That is so depressed. Yeah. Clubs. <laughs> Sire, he wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Alright. It's a good start. Hello! Sire. Sire must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. <laughs> it's been hours! <laughs> I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. You've got all this foam coming out of the corner of your mouth. <laughs> I thought that I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. <laughs> Honestly, you were even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. <laughs> wow. You don't need to wait up for me if I'm going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. God, she's in a club. Sorry. Yeah! <laughs> oh, she said, yeah? <laughs> yeah? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There is no way I'm going to your club. Eh, maybe. Sorry is vice president of the literature club. She's vice president? <laughs> her life is awesome. <laughs> he keeps making fun of her. <laughs> Not that I was ever aware that she had any, any interest in literature. She's carefree, she's vice president of a club, she's got a radical bow. Like, <laughs> what? Everything's coming up Sayuri. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after that one who proposed the club, she inherited, she inherited the title of vice president. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Yay! Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kinda told the club yesterday I would bring a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Oh, well, there's cupcakes. <laughs> Don't pro don't make promises you can't keep. I don't think he heard the cupcake part. <laughs> I know. I would go just check out the fucking cupcakes. Yeah. I can't tell if Sayuri is really that much of an airhead or if she's <laughs> so cunning as to have planned out all of this. If you're promised cu cupcakes and what it actually ends up being is those like tiny little cupcakes, you know those? Mm -hmm. Are you disappointed or still an is it a net positive because you have more cupcakes than you did before? <laughs> Uh, I actually prefer those to regular cupcakes. Really? Yeah. Why? Because regular sized cupcakes are just a tiny bit too big. Yeah, but if you have a smattering of little tiny cupcakes, you're gonna end up eating like seven anyway, so that's like one full cupcake. That's true, but like it's it, it's the size, it, they infuriate me. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a pastry if it was an apple, you know? Yeah. That's yeah. true, but <laughs> I agree. But like, if you bite into a cupcake, you're either getting all icing or all cake. You cannot get the perfect amount. Well, that's why you have to like kind of start your bite and then sort of angle it. <laughs> it's just it's an infuriating. It's like, it's like scooping ice cream. You can't just like go. You have to like you, there has to be some pivot halfway this through. This is why I don't like cake. <laughs> yeah, well, this is why. Yes. Why don't you? You should like regular cake then. That's a whole. You other have more words. control. <laughs> you have more control. Anyway. <laughs> I let out a long sigh. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake. There, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. Now you're speaking our language, yeah. fatty. Let's go. <laughs> yes, let's go. See, she agrees with me. <laughs> and thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a <laughs> cupcake. <laughs> oh, I love our loser. 
I dejectedly followed Sayuri across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit because gener being generally used for the third year classes and activities. Sayuri, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone! The new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome well, to the lurch. I'll help oh, some. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to girl one. I'll be girl one. <laughs> Welcome Maybe to. Maybe you should do a character with a name. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the literature club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously, <laughs> you brought a boy. Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Shikmeo John. What a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. <laughs> what are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S sorry. Natsuki. Humph. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't- God damn it, I'd pick the one with the name! <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty it's sure the they'll all have that. names, right? I don't know, I'm pretty sure girl we're never gonna see girl one after this scene. <laughs> <laughs> she just gets on a bus and yeah. leaves. <laughs> well, I'm going out of- I'm going to America for the rest of the game. My, Bye, everyone. My planet needs me. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. Uh, that probably means she's, like, 80, but has, like, some weird bone disease or something. Yeah, or she's 13, and he's gonna have a crush on her. Or, oh, what do you mean you're my- you're actually my little sister I never <laughs> knew about? She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayuri. Fuck it, she's a keeper, she makes cupcakes. <laughs> <laughs> you can just- you can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayuri says that quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. <laughs> anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. D don't say things like that. All right, she has a name. Yeah, yeah it's weird, <laughs> isn't it? It's weird how all these characters have names, isn't it? <laughs> Yuri, who appears comfortably more mature and timid, seems to have ha a hard time keeping up with people like Sayuri and Natsuki. Uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's a weird name for this group. Maybe it's Monica. That's right. It's great to see you again, Sharknado John. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic... Basically, completely out of my league. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Uh, you, you too, Monica. Come sit down, Sharknado John. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes! Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? Damn, she's got tea. I want to sit next to your <laughs> The girls have a few desk of ange to form a table. Uh-huh. As Sayuri mentioned, it's been widened, so there was one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayuri. Look how arranged these are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corners of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayuri. I thought they were going to make us pick. Yeah. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Who's talking? Uh, Sayuri. Uh, her. Uh, it's you. Is it? What voice did I give her? I don't know. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Great, you did it. <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray and reveals a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated with little, like, little cats. 
pants. Oh, oh. <laughs> the whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Oh, Sayuri's the really high voice I've been doing this entire yeah. game. <laughs> Just hurry and take one. Sayuri grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. Wait, then Monica? Oh, okay, comma, I follow. All right. Yeah. It's delicious. You know, the, the fifth girl, I follow. <laughs> <laughs> Sayuri talks with... Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> Sayuri talks with a mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. Is that problem you're talking about? <laughs> I turned the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take. Oh my god! It's it's that thing it's exactly, we're pro prolific, right yes. here. Oh my god! <laughs> Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet but full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is this is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything. That's uh, weird. Okay. Okay. Dude, I mean, just met him like a minute ago. Yeah. Okay, whatever. I, I thought you technically did. <laughs> Sayuri said... Well, maybe. Oh, yeah, because they knew a new member was coming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like she's like... Doing the thriller dance. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. A little bit. But not for... You, you know, you, dummy. Alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. <laughs> Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. Oh, God, it's me. <laughs> you keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, it's awesome. Oh, I'm, I'm standing next to myself. Oh. <laughs> Don't let yourself get inti uh, intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. I forgot both their voices already. It's fine. Yuri is just you, and I, I just am grateful you're actually trying to do something with Monica. <laughs> what did I? What was I doing with Monica? I don't know. That works. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> and that—that's not insulted. Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. I forget what I was doing with Sharpnado. It's fine. I, it was he's just you, I think. Yeah. Uh, you were trying to go like a little macho with yeah. him, I think. Like, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So, what made you consider the literature club? Um... <laughs> I was afraid of this question. <laughs> Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayuri. <laughs> well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayuri seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the literature club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member of any of the major clubs. Weren't uh, you the leader of the debate club last year? I crave power. What? <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, you know. <laughs> I can teleport. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major clubs. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare for events. Japan's so weird. <laughs> I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling a dream. Monica really is a great leader. <laughs> Yuri also nods in agreement. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad half of my characters don't talk very much. <laughs> then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start off a new club. You could put it that way. 
Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention. Like literature! You have to work hard to convince people that you're, bo uh, that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events like festivals that much more important. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. <clears throat> Such different girls, all interested in the same girl. Monica must have worked really hard to find these three. Maybe that's why they're all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusias enthusiasm about literature. So, Sharknado John, what kinds of things do you like to read? Oh, but I got <laughs> highlights. <laughs> <laughs> Considering how little... Oops, I I'm sorry. <laughs> manga. <laughs> it's fine. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Natsuki's head suddenly pokes up. Ah, uh, nerd. <laughs> nerd alert! Cupcake nerd! <laughs> it looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. I bet her screen name is Cupcake Nerd 420. <laughs> <laughs> not much of a reader, I guess. Well, oh no, that's the hook. I, well, the, well, the font for the names is messing me up a little that's bit. That's okay. Well, well, that can change. What am I saying? <laughs> I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. <laughs> uh, anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. I forgot, they're sitting down having tea while yeah. this is happening. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Nerd alert! Wee wee! <laughs> <laughs> And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. Yuri drones on for days. <laughs> we all leave. We turn the lights <laughs> off. She doesn't notice. <laughs> she seemed so res reserved and timid since the moment I walked in. But it's obvious the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination and completely throw you for a loop? Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. <laughs> <laughs> I too can read. <laughs> I, have, I have heard of, of, I think his name is Stephen King. <laughs> I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. Horror, I know that word. <laughs> at this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. <laughs> really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For some reason, uh, for someone as gentle as you, I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think or takes me to another world, then I can really, and I really can't put it down. Surreal, uh, bleh. Surreal horror is oh my god. <laughs> Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ah, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just. Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. What the fuck is with this girl? <laughs> That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? <laughs> what? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. <laughs> it, we all read it. <laughs> I posted it on all social media, everyone's seen it. It looked like you were working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! And give it back! <laughs> fine, fine. Oh god, I forgot about her. <laughs> <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, <laughs> everything you do is just as cute as you are. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> Sayuri sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders. <laughs> I'm not cute! <laughs> 
<laughs> Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I just think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometimes? N no! Natsuki averts her eyes. You, you wouldn't like them. Not very confident a writer yet? I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. The hell does that mean? <laughs> you must be willing to open... I'm, I'm telling you, dumbass. <laughs> you must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have... Uh, do you have writing ex experience too, you <coughs> <laughs> Monica, you okay? <laughs> no, it's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki keep feel comfortable enough to share hers. I'm, I'm, I'm dying. I'm losing it. Um... I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah, uh, I want to... I totally forgot her voice. <laughs> it's just squeaky. Ah, uh, I want to read everyone's poems. <laughs> Great. This is the best play playthrough we've ever done. <laughs> We're just reading. I love this. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay! <laughs> I have an idea. Jump scare! <laughs> Rawr. I have an idea, everyone! Uh, <laughs> uh, Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Then, next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um... Hers is just gonna be like a crayon drawing of a house and a sun <laughs> with a smiley face in it. Oh uh, god, which one's mine? Oh, her, okay. Uh. <laughs> Plus, now that we have a new club member, I think it'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Sharknado John? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join the club. Sayuri may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose my train of thought. Aww. <laughs> All four girls stare uh, back at me with dejected eyes. But... But, I'm sorry, I thought. Humph. Sharknado John. <laughs> They're all getting lower. <laughs> I'm not hovering anymore. <laughs> y you all. I'm defenseless against these girls. <laughs> How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is... If writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls... <laughs> right. Okay, I've decided. <laughs> I'll join the literature club. <laughs> <laughs> one by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes! I'm so happy! Sayuri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey. You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. <laughs> just like, get out of the way, just move. <laughs> then that makes like bayonetta hair. <laughs> yeah. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the literature club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Get your hair on my face. <laughs> it's delicious. <laughs> okay, everybody. I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Sharknado John, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can I really impress the class to start Monica? Oh, can I really impress this? 
Class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clear up their food. Hey, Sharknado John, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right, Sayuri and I never walk home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. Yay! 